All right, unless you've been living under a rock, uh, you might know some of this information. But we're going to go through it all anyways because this is huge news. Uh, at least relatively huge news, I suppose. So Nintendo did update their online service page online and released an official press release about it. And we actually need both of these because they contain different information in each. Now, that's weird in that of itself. They're not all the information is available just on the website. I can understand some of it being in the press release and all of it being on the website. Instead, you need both for the complete picture. Only Nintendo, I suppose. But uh, they updated the website, and there's some interesting things. So first, let's just go through the positives. Or, you know what, let's just list off all of the things that we found out today in general. First off, uh, it is still launching in September. Uh, it has online play, and the games that they mentioned that will be behind this system for online play right now are Splatoon 2, ARMS, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Mario Tennis Aces, and Susi Striker, The Way of the Shishido. No, Smash is not mentioned here. Uh, they are also going to have 20 NES games available at launch. Now, those 20 NES games are called Play Classic NES Games Anytime, Anywhere. They do have 10 of those games announced uh, of the 20 they are launching with, and those 10 include Soccer, Tennis, Donkey Kong, Mario Bros., Super Mario Bros., Balloon Fight, Ice Climber, Dr. Mario, The Legend of Zelda, and Super Mario Bros. 3. Now, as promised, there will be online functionality with this stuff, uh, but... It's actually really interesting what they're doing. So it says, for the first time ever, this comes from the press release, players will be able to enjoy these classic NES games online. Depending on the game, players can engage in online competitive or co-op multiplayer or take turns controlling the action. Friends can even watch each other play single-player games online and pass the controller at any time. Every classic NES game will support voice chat via the Nintendo Switch online smartphone app. It will also be possible to play these games offline. So you can play these games offline, which is big. Multiplayer, as an example, uh, for the taking turns and controlling the action, uh, swapping out who's controlling the game for single-player games, The Legend of Zelda would obviously be right there for that. Uh, moving on, uh, they mentioned that this is another big announcement. That there will be save data cloud backups. They don't really mention much about it on the official website, except that more information will be available later. In fact, it says details for it will be available before it launches. Uh, they do go over a little bit more of it in the press release. It says, by using Nintendo Switch Online, a backup of Nintendo Switch save data for most Nintendo Switch games will be stored for easy online access. This is great for people who want to retrieve their data if they lose, break, or purchase an additional Nintendo Switch system. Uh, so, yes, it is locked behind the paywall, I suppose, if you want to call it that. Uh, moving on, uh, there are going to be special offers. So, this includes things like uh, discounts and stuff like that. They don't really provide much information other than special deals and offers for members. Uh, the plans and pricings for it. Now, some of this pricing we already knew. $3.99 for one month, $7.99 for three months, or $19.99 for 12 months. Now, what they did announce today is actually a brand new pricing tier called the Family Membership. So it's a 12-month membership for $34.99. It lets you register eight total people under that membership to access online services. And this can be eight separate accounts over eight Nintendo Switches. So potentially you could register for just $34.99 for a year, eight separate Nintendo Switches. But here's also the caveat to that. Anyone who has uh, an account or whatever on your system. So say, as an example for me, I have an account for me, I have an account for my fiance, and an account for my daughter, all on my Switch because we all play on my Switch. I have to buy the family membership in order for them to access online services. So even if I own the individual membership, no, not everyone on my Switch can actually enjoy the benefits of that. I'd have to buy the family membership and add their accounts. Now, they did announce, this is, this is a very interesting point, that on May 15th, we are going to be able to create our family group. Essentially, that's when we can start linking accounts together in a group, obviously up to eight of them, uh, to potentially use in a family membership. Now, there might be other things with this. We don't know, but this is, what, this is what's happening this month, May 15th. We don't know much more about it. There wasn't much said about it in the press release about it really at all. 
uh, just that it's happening. So uh, that's a thing. Now, I did go through the FAQ because I wanted to learn uh, a little bit more because they updated the FAQ as well. Uh, and they don't really say much about it except that, yes, voice chat is going to be through the online app. That has not changed. All voice chats can be managed through that, including the NES games, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, you do have to pay for the information to play online. Uh, and, yeah, it, it details out all those things I talked about in the family membership as well. Uh, how do you create the family group hasn't been um, you know, explained. Has You have to go to Nintendo account settings on your Switch and set all that up. Um, again, this, oh, and uh, by the way, this doesn't work with the Wii U and 3DS. This Nintendo Switch Online account stuff is only with Switch and probably all future Nintendo systems, if we're being honest yet. And they're not going to tell us how to set up the cloud save data stuff until a later date. So that's it. That's the brunt of all the information. Now, I have some initial thoughts on this. Uh, I expressed this in a live stream earlier, but I just want to get it all collected here in this video. Um, there are some things I like and some things I dislike about this. For starters, the big thing I like is the save cloud backups. Now, I don't like that that appears to be the only way to back up your data, and it does mean to back up your save data, it's behind a paywall. Now, granted, I was going to pay for this paywall anyways to play online multiplayer games, but it does kind of suck for those who don't want to pay for it that you know you can only back up your save data this way. I wish they would offer the ability to locally save to your micro SD card or plug in an external hard drive into the dock and let you you know do a backup save that way. I know there's security risks and all these different things, but you know what? If all the other systems can work around it, PlayStation and Xbox offer those solutions, then I don't know why Nintendo can't. And yes, I know PlayStation and Xbox do charge. Uh, they, they do put the cloud save backups behind their paywalls, but they do offer local backups for free. That's the difference here where Nintendo's only offering it through a paywall. There's no way to back up without it. So that is a concern. Of course, we all know the hacking communities out there and has figured out how to back up saves, but uh, whatever. <laughs> Apparently, it's too difficult for Nintendo at this point. Uh, beyond that, I do want to say I do have an issue with the family plan. Uh, I don't have an issue with the price, the $34.99 for whatever. You know, you do that, eight accounts, eight different switches. Amazing. I can register Eric's switch under my family. I can register my, my fiance's switch and my daughter's switch eventually down the road as well. Um, and maybe I can add even a couple more friends in with that, you know, or whatever. Like, it's kind of cool. But my issue, my big issue with this whole thing, oh, boy, is that when I buy an Xbox Live, like, I'm using another example so that you can say this isn't fair. But whatever. When I pay for Xbox Live, no matter how many accounts are on my Xbox One, everyone on there has access to Xbox Live features. Meaning that everyone on there can message people, everyone on there can get them voice calls, everyone on there can play online multiplayer games. As long as my account Xbox Live is active. Now there's a limit on how many accounts you can have per system, but whatever. It's all on that system. Switch is no, 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 no. I pay $20 for a year of, of, of this, you know, online service for Nintendo, and that will not give Yulia or Melody, who both have access to my Switch, the ability to play online unless they play with my account. And for obvious reasons, affecting my rankings and things, I don't want them using my account to play online, right? They should be using their accounts. Well, their accounts on my Switch locally, I'd have to pay $34.99. That is... A big red flag to me about it. It's almost an oversight, I, I feel, at this point. It's also Nintendo probably not caring about what anyone else is doing. But it is an issue I have. I also have an issue with them saying that uh, the online voice chat thing with the app is going to continue. I was hoping they would have learned a lesson based on the past year of feedback. Apparently, they've learned nothing. I don't actually mind that voice chat is available through the app. What I do mind is, is the only way to have voice chat online if there would be local voice chat on the Switch with an option to use the app, that to me is better. They also didn't detail out if you'll be able to message people. Um, they mentioned nothing about achievements, which means we're probably not getting achievements, at least not locally on the Switch. So, yeah, there, there's no messaging service, it doesn't sound like. They didn't talk about lobbies with chats. Like, all this might be added, but that's not part of the update today. Uh, yeah, that's, I mean, that, that's basically the general gist of it. Um, I'm actually really curious what you guys think about all of this. And I know someone out there is going to mention, oh, but that rumor, don't worry, we'll address that rumor tomorrow. Uh, I have a whole different video I want to do on that thing. But for now, let's just let's just see what you guys think about all this online stuff. Let me know down in the comments below. I'm, I know what I think, now let me know what you think. All right, folks, I am Nathaniel Rovajans from Nintendo Prime, and if you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more content, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you in.